How's it going guys? It's Psydog here again with another episode of Planet Zoo. Now, um, this time it's going to be slightly different. We're not back in uh, Ratala Zoo. Uh, we are in my little play build world. Um, just found out something pretty cool that you can do with the new billboards from the Southeast Asia pack. So I wanted to share that with you. Now, for ages, absolutely ages, since the game came out, people have been wanting aquariums, you know, um, glass buildings where fish can roam free for all of a few meters. Um, now, with the new billboard system, you can upload your own videos, which is quite cool. So uh, I'm over in my well, seal habitat at the moment, just because it was somewhere we, we could be. Um, but let's let's go have a look. So. Here we go. Not bad, eh? So, let's just turn off that. There we go, look at that. I mean, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Now, we're going to go through how it's built. Uh, I'd build it with you, but it's probably just easier if I deconstruct what I've already done and then show you that way. And then you can kind of follow along and, and work it out for yourself. It does involve kind of glitching the glass a little bit, but it's not too difficult. So, uh, what have we got? We have a roof. Just move that piece out of the way. There we go. So, inside... We have a barrier holding in some water. Now, I couldn't get it fully up to the top, so I think I had flat bottom setting on. I should have had flat top, but uh, try flat top. That might end up that you get the water right to the top, so I've had to sink the screens in a little bit. But um, basically, if we take the roof off, we have a barrier with some water placed inside there and a few screens. So we've got three. Now the reason why I've done three is that there is a gap between the main glass and the billboard screen. And that helps with it giving a little bit more depth. You kind of feel especially when you go up nice and close it, it goes in away and it adds some depth now the three screens because i've added them on the side here otherwise you just have um black panels so i've added second screens on the both sides and it kind of gives this weird glass effect where it's not um how do i put it it's tweaking the image a little bit you kind of get this oh it's going around a corner sort of vibe whereas if it was just black you wouldn't get that depth i think it actually works out quite well because a lot of aquarium glass is quite thick so you end up with that distorted image at the sides obviously if you wanted to do it better than what i've done you could do this all one single pane of glass and not have this supporting beam in the middle but I just rushed this together quickly for you. Um, so let's take some more bits and pieces out of this, shall we? So. Um, let's just move a whole of that out of the way. There we go. So you can kind of see now that it is a rock fascia. With a screen on the inside. Screen on the other side. And you've got your bricks on the front. And you obviously you can style it however you want. Now, you could even probably go as far as to do this on all four sides. But I haven't actually tested that out. That might be something that someone a little bit more skilled than myself could do. But to start with, this is what I've got for you. Obviously, you can do this for a load of stuff. So I've just grabbed a, a quick video of a, a reef aquarium. You could put whatever you want in here. Uh, you could even have 
you know, different exhibits that aren't aquariums. So you could download a video of, I don't know, um, your favorite spider or a bearded dragon or, or something like that that's inside of a, an enclosure in, in, in an exhibit. And you can then turn that into your own exhibit. Obviously, no one's going to be able to visit this. Uh, guests aren't going to be able to crowd around it and watch it. I don't believe anyway. But you could just use them to your leisure. But yeah. You can also, if we put everything back. Oh, get this one out of the way. Yeah. What you can also do is if we can edit the water, we can change how clear the water is. You can have it pretty dark or you can have it really transparent, completely up to you. Whichever one you want to pick, you can also change the water color to be whatever you want. So I went with a sort of deep blue and then turn the opacity down a little bit or the transparency down a little bit just so it gives that murkiness because the video isn't quite clear so I thought it would actually do all right now the only issue you run into with this if you go really low is you get the top of the screen but you still kind of get that reflection of the water, which I think helps it. But you could always put more stones and stuff at the top if you, you really wanted to. Obviously, this is just a quick draft of what you can and can't do. Um, you could also put foliage inside there, I suppose. So if you were to find something that looked a little bit like coral. Coral. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Let's find something small. Large, small. Yeah, let's do that. Let's see if we can get that stuck in between here. So it needs to go in there like that. And then we can always bring it up. I don't know. There you go, look at that. That's a bit of depth to it as well, isn't it? It's just to try and uh, aid the image, really. You don't want it too mad. You don't want something that's going to be right in your face, make it look unnatural, look weird. Um, but you want to add that depth. Obviously, you can always bring the screen further back. The issue with moving the screen further back is you end up causing more of that refraction issue at the side where the two screens meet so obviously the more you bring it back you'd have to fill in the front area and then you're not going to get any fish swimming in it which might be an issue uh, obviously if you'd bring it right to the front you then make it look like a screen you lose that sort of depth so i've found about there works out to be best maybe a little bit further actually just just where that starts to refract there so if you look at the coral on the side there that's kind of where i want it to sit but you can obviously match it up with whatever image you've got it could be that you've got a really good image and nothing appears on the side and it's just going to look better but um yeah Anyway, that'll do for now. Hopefully it gives someone some inspiration on anything. Uh, you never know. It, it might lead to something amazing and uh, be featured on someone's community post or uh, competition. Something like that. Anyway, cheers for stopping by. If you've enjoyed this, please do give it a like and a subscribe there is obviously the button down below big red thing give it a give it a hit uh much appreciated 
and yeah i'll catch you in the next one